Hi there, Andrew Thompson here from Position Market Trading. I've been pretty quiet the last three or four weeks. I've been uh, working away, haven't been uh, able to get near anywhere where I can uh, make a recording. But um, I'm back on track now. This is probably one of my last videos for this year. Um, and the metals, it looks like, for my opinion, the metal stocks, the material stocks, have uh, made a low. As you know, I've had a couple of false starts on BHP in the past. Um, once again, I've done the work on that. BHP is a buy to me. I'm not going to put anything up at the moment, though. You'd be a bit sick of seeing that go wrong. Having said that, we haven't lost any money. We bought two of the previous lows, made money on one. We lost money on the other. Pretty well, we came out even. So we had a go, and it didn't cost anything. This chart here is a weekly for copper. Uh, I think the metals stocks are going to have hit lows and are going to get a rig on though because I believe copper has hit its low. Um, to show you this, this goes back to 2001, the low of 60 cents in copper and all the way over here, um, low of $2.02. .02. It's done that in 730 weeks. You know that's two times my circle. 360 degrees, yeah, so it's done two times 730. You've seen it on many videos of mine, how well that works. Um, the range, incidentally, between the two is a buck 42, pretty close to a dollar 44. 144 works beautifully to any natural resource, so that's looking good too. From this top up here, down to a couple of weeks ago's low, um, is 246 bars, 246, it's a uh, half of 492. You might might recall our GFC top to our GFC low in the market was 492 and 495 days. Happens a lot, especially in the metals markets. This number and the top, just as an incident, was 465. I posted something on my Twitter feed um, a few hours ago on the numbers coming in on the spy at 468, 468, 465, 466, two times two. 33. I implore you, I beg you, when you see a top or a bottom coming in at 233 or 466, you go the other way. That is a very, very powerful number. So this was the actual top 465 and it's got slaughtered. So believe me when it happens. One of these days I'm going to do a video on that particular number and you'll see exactly what I mean. But for me, the metals have hit a low, that's why the last couple of days we've been going long metal stock. This one here is IGO, Independence Group. It's been flogged too, all the way up from $9 plus over here, down to the recent low a few days ago, $2.11. Once again, I mentioned on the Twitter feed um, a few days ago that I was keen on this, I'm buying it. Reasons being, and there's a lot more to it than this, but this will do for the moment. Um, we have a double bottom. You know I love double bottoms, double tops. This one was 218. This one here is 211. And we get the midpoint. Okay. But from this top all the way up here, $8 plus, down to the midpoint, the range was $6.21. This top, my friends, is $6.21. So that range is confirming the top is confirming the time which is exactly the time in between the midpoint and the time between the midpoint is 617 trading days there's my 621 there's my 621 and the low was two dollars eleven and we've gone from top to bottom in 212 degrees and top to bottom in 218 days which was this slow so time is equaling price here so I like it a lot. Third, and last but not least, is South32, the BHB spin-off that was spun off um, quite a while, about six or seven months ago. With a, with a new stock, um, I also look for its birth, the day it was born, and this is the day over here it was born here. And to this low was 144 trading days. Does it get better than that? And from the, its top, it, it's short-lived top all the way down to its 96 cents low was a range of $1.49 and 141 If you average a two, and know I average a lot, um, average comes out well, we get 145 So between the three, the metal stocks have been slotted the last few months, BHP especially, Fortescue along with them, and everything else that digs anything underground has been flogged. For me, 
there a buy. Um, good luck for that, and we're long. I'll talk to you soon.